A little boy who was abandoned at a bus stop just before Christmas is now in state custody. Today, a judge told the 13-year-old he will go to a foster home until caseworkers can track down his parents. New specialist Jane Clayson was in court today and joins us now with an update. Jane, how is he doing? Well, Carol, it's been a lonely holiday for this child. Christmas is also the boy's birthday, and he spent the day in a group home. The red-headed 13-year-old boy we called Mark walked into court today wearing a baseball cap and ski coat and studiously playing Game Boy. He is shy, scared, and very embarrassed by all the publicity coming his way from all corners of the country. This all started last week when the boy's father and stepmother allegedly abandoned Mark at a bus station. He carried a sealed letter claiming his father was very sick and his stepmother did not want him anymore. Today in juvenile court, a judge gave the state temporary custody to put the boy in a foster home. He's never been to school, and at one point, Judge Frederick O'Donne asked him if he could read or write. The boy's answer, not real good. Would you like to go to school, the judge asked. The boy shrugged his shoulders and said, do I have to? When asked how his parents earned a living, the boy said quietly, I can't tell you. In the courtroom today, he appeared to me to be rather recluse, uh, very shy. Uh, he didn't see a lot of smiles or anything. He has uh, become very uncomfortable, frankly, with the publicity and with the personal attention, even, even the, uh, the well-meaning gifts that have come. Uh, just the attention on him makes him very uncomfortable. Social workers have tried tirelessly to find the boy's parents or any relatives for that matter. His parents' car has a Utah license plate, he says, but DMV records and a social security search have turned up nothing. And Mark's parents have not tried to contact him. Carol? Has anyone called wanting to help this child, Janie? Oh, Carol, calls have been coming in from all around the country, people who want to send money, adopt the child, even take him on a Florida vacation. But for now, the state has set up a trust fund, and you can send your donations to the Division of Family Services, 645 East, 4500 South in Salt Lake City, 84107. I'm sure a lot of people will be pulling for this child, Carol. I'm sure there are, and I hope he knows that as well. Thanks very much, Jane Clayson.